Hi, in this lesson, we're going to look at how loops can be implemented in our Python graphics programs. Let's go. Using loops in Python graphics is exactly the same as using them in our console programs. We can define a for loop as shown here, where the number of times to repeat is noted inside parentheses. Indented inside, we list all of the actions we want to be completed when we run the loop. In this program, we can easily add more circles to the screen by altering the range of the loop. Let's take a look at an example to see this in action. We're going to complete this exercise where we're being asked to draw five bars that differ in height and are spaced along the x-axis. Before we get to writing our program, let's take a minute to plan. To get the x-coordinate point of the top corner of the first bar, we use the constant value of left base that has been given to us. To get the y-coordinate point of the top corner of the first bar, we start with the bottom base variable and subtract the bar height value. Remember, y values decrease as the vertical position gets higher on the canvas, which is why we subtract the bar height variable rather than add it. To get the x-coordinate point of the bottom corner of the first bar, we use the constant value of left base that has been given to us and add the bar width variable. For the y-coordinate of the bottom corner of the first bar, we just use the bottom base value. Now, how will these values change after each bar is drawn? The left base variable must increase by 50 on each loop in order to align the bars horizontally. The bar height variable also needs to increase by 50 on each iteration. Okay, let's write this in the editor. You'll see in this program that we're starting with all of our constant values and our values for top x and y and bottom x and y with the values that we calculated previously are already written here. So we want to use these values inside of a for loop and we know that we want to draw five bars. So we're going to use for i in range 5 and we want to indent these variable values that we calculated previously. We now want to use those inside our create rectangle command. And we want to make sure to use those variables here. Now, if we just run this code as is, we'll see that we have one rectangle just drawn at the bottom of our canvas. And we also can zoom out to be able to see the full canvas that we have. We can just click Command minus once again to see the entire canvas there. So we just have one rectangle being drawn, but we're telling it to draw five. Now the reason only one is being drawn is because these values of top X, top Y, bottom X, and bottom Y are staying the same through every single iteration of our loop. We need to make sure to use those equations to change the values of top x and y and bottom x and y so that our, our rectangles will be drawn in the correct location and with the correct height. So we know that we want the left base to actually change. And that should increase by what the value it was plus 50. And we also want the bar height to increase by 50 as well every time that our loop runs. Now let's run our code, and we see that we have all five bars. If we want to change the color of them, we know that we can just add a fill, and that will change the color of each of our bars. Great! Now it's your turn to use loops inside your Python graphics programs.